Good Sunday morning to everyone. Welcome to Golden Final Spin Cafe. Whoa, is that the intro? Yeah. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get cups that say that? Like one side that says that and the other side is just like, Good Sunday morning. <laughs> Good Sunday morning. Can, can we have that? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the new format kind of thing going on. Still Golden Final Spin. Doing this for so long, so just figured 2020 be a new change. Have a, have a cafe kind of thing going on. This episode, you do not want to miss. We're going to be covering quite a bit. It's kind of like a video podcast. That That's really cool. I like doing video podcasts. We did them in, in the past. But what we're going to be covering, new in the bin, few records that I got new in my bin. Uh, now that 2020 has hit, what do we see the next decade looking like in the music in general, especially rock and metal? And briefly, briefly touching on uh, 2019's record sales, what I think about that. The biggest things that I found in 2019, I have one record that I'm going to share. You have a record that you're going to share. Records coming out in 2020. There's a lot coming out, so you want to keep on watching. We're going to be sharing and talking about some rumors and some definite things that are coming out. Plus, share your setup. I have a photo that I'm going to be showing you, and what this is all about is if you follow us on Facebook, uh, I encourage people to email me or share on our Facebook group a photo of your setup so that you can inspire other people of what your setup looks like and so that gives other people ideas. It's really cool seeing other people's setups. So I have a photo of someone who sent me and we're going to talk a little bit about his setup. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification because it is very important if you don't want to miss one of these episodes because they're really cool. This is new. Yeah, and it's important that you hit that notification bell because we are a small channel. If you really want to know when we uh, put out videos, make sure you hit that. That way you get notified. Sometimes uh, YouTube doesn't notify of us little people, but it helps us grow and get uh, lets YouTube know that we exist. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And thank you for subscribing to all those that are currently subscribers. So let's get right into it. New in my bin, this album here. I know there's an individual, Billy Hurst. I don't know if you have this one or not, but he is an amazing artist himself and he plays country music, he likes traditional country music. So if you don't know who Billy Hurst is, check out his channel. Billy, this is the album that I was talking about. And for those of you that don't know who this is, this is Tracy Lawrence, amazing artist from the early 90s. 90s was a great time to, for country music, but a lot of things didn't get pressed on final because CDs were just taken over. This is a 2019 one. It's called Made in America. Very patriotic uh, kind of album. Uh, I'm from Canada. It'd be nice if the someone in Canada did something like that. But this album is fabulous. It's I can't say you know anything other than that about this album. Came out this year. Tracy Lawrence has a unique voice. If you don't know who he is, look him up on YouTube. They have a video for this. Made in America, he created video. And here, Billy, if you don't got this one, you definitely got to get this one. And for all you 90s country fans. All right, the next one I'm going to show you is Highway 101. I didn't think I would ever find one by them, but I'm really excited because the lead singer from Highway 101 is coming to Fox Mountain Campground for the Country Music Festival, and I'm going to be getting this one signed. The song off of this one, A uh, Long Way Down, or what is it? Do you love me? Just say yes. Just say yes. I think that's the hit that's off of this album. There's a lot going on right now. We got a lot of metal bands. Where do you see music going for 2020? Even the next decade. And why is it going to be different? Honestly, in my opinion, I believe we're getting like hair metal in the 80s. Rock is coming back. With all the announcements, literally a couple weeks uh, left of 2019, all these bands from the 80s made this big announcement that they're coming back, they're going on tour, a bunch of new albums are coming out, and I think 2020 and going up to 2025 is going to be the era of 80s coming back. Exactly. Like, I, I see, 
I got a lot of new releases here that I'm going to be mentioning, and it is tendency to leaning more towards metal music. Does that mean that metal music is coming back? Is it hair metal? Or, I, I don't know. But I think the next decade, and we were talking about this, is going to be the new, is it era? Is that how you say it? Era? For music? I, I really believe, because if we listen to radio right now, for say, all right, you, you basically have a channel that has hits that are current, and then you have channels like 70s, 80s, classic hits and stuff like that. But out of the channels that you listen to, of the hits of the new people right now, can you honestly say that in 20 years time, you'll be listening to that stuff? I don't know. I don't think. I, I, I don't see it. We haven't seen any classics in a long time. Like we, we were talking about this, you were, you were saying that we really need something that is for this generation that is you know out there and it's great that the all these people are coming back uh, but you got to really think about this for a second these people are in their 60s 70s and 80s and they see uh that they need to come back yeah. does that mean that music's dying i don't know a lot of i don't mean to hate on and i'm definitely not hating on the music now it's very different from the music back in the 60s 70s and 80s it's a lot more computer based I guess you could say does it connect with people I don't know some people yes because um, there is probably songs out there that a lot of people can connect to me personally I haven't really found any I haven't found a new artist that I really really am excited and look forward to their new album yeah yeah unlike you know if we think about the a lot of the people that are out there right now uh, you don't know if there's going to be another album. You really don't. And and the span uh, uh, is so broad when they bring out albums. Could be five, five years span. And then they get forgotten. And then the hits at that time aren't hits now. And that tells you that they're not classics. Like we still listen to a lot of ACDC per se, or Pink Floyd, or Led Zeppelin. Uh, those kind of things we still listen to, and the, that music is over 40 years old. So I foresee in the next 10 years, starting now, we're going to be starting to hear some songs that I think are going to be classics that what we're listening to on the radio right now, they're going to be listening to on the radio like what we're doing right now. Yeah, going back and listening from there. Yeah. And, yeah. It, you'll still have the classics of what we're listening to now and that we're accustomed to. But you know what I'm saying? I think mm -hmm. it's going to be a new generation. We're going to see new music coming out and, it, and it's going to be amazing. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, next we're going to be touching on record sales for 2019. Now, I did a lot of research in trying to find out what the sales were for 2019 but the thing is I don't think you can really say what they are I don't I mean they say that record sales have have super exceeded uh, CD sales but when it comes to units itself units no I don't think it has as far as new records and that's the only thing that we can really control. We can track new records uh, because they're coming out of distributors. They know how many records are going out to different stores. The stores report how many are sold based on what they're restocking and stuff like that. But uh, those uh, stores that are used stores, and when people come in, they buy five or six used records, they're not being reported. So you really don't know how many records are selling. And if you really think about it, a, a record is anywhere between thirty to forty dollars. A CD anywhere between ten to fifteen dollars. So from the very first sale of a record to the sale of a CD, the record already outsold the CD, just based on the numbers, based on how much they are. So when they're reporting all over the internet and saying records have outsold CDs, 
they're talking price they're not talking units so we don't know and I don't think we'll ever know I do know that downloads are still doing doing great CDs are still selling quite a bit of units after all they're cheaper to make they're cheaper to upload than records it costs a lot of money to make records but I predict this year 2020 is going to be the number one year I foresee them selling more records than CDs in numbers not in profit not it's going to be units this year it's going to be units everyone out there that is creating a record or creating music and albums are putting them on record now they're also putting them on CD they're also putting them as download but I foresee and I predict 2020 to be the year next biggest finds biggest finds you have something yeah all right you can show your biggest find okay. and why you chose this to be your biggest find okay so I found 2019 for me I didn't actually get a whole lot of vinyl or just anything music related in general but this I did find one thing out of my collection that I'm super excited about wanted for such a long time um, so I'm a huge hair metal fan and so I got this after the movie came out with this tilted berry yeah. there we go there. so this is Motley Crue's the dirt soundtrack um, it is based I'll give you guys a little thing on what it is it's based off a book they wrote back in oh I don't want to give a date because I don't know for sure I don't know, sometime in the 2000s or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, they wrote this book, and then in 2019, they released with Netflix a uh, movie for it, and it was an amazing movie. I've seen it seven times and fell in love with it, and then I picked up the soundtrack, and it's a great soundtrack. It's all their like original stuff with a few extra new stuff, and it is a gatefold with some really cool stuff. It's a mixture of the actors, and this is the back, Mixture of the actors and then the actual band members. It's just a great album, and I was really excited when I found it. Now, speaking of Motley Crue, what do you think of this tour that's going on right now? Because they got what? They got Poison. Yeah. Uh, Def Leppard. Def Leppard. Um, Joan Jett is doing something with them. There's like at least five bands, yeah. at, at least, and there's probably some extra bands that are local wherever they're going. Probably. Now, Motley Crue said that they would never do. No, what they did is. They did. Um, Right after their book that they released their book, they did this signing a contract that they're done touring. They might do individual solo stuff, but they are not going to perform on stage ever again together as Motley Crue. And then this 2019 come the end, they literally ripped that up and said, no, we're going back on tour. It's going to be a stadium tour and they're doing a whole bunch of things. It's bigger than ever. Yeah, it's the biggest tour that ever. I, I think it upset some fans, but at the end of the day, these fans are actually going to go watch it. I, I know I would. I would, yes. I think it's a great thing. I think it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> come on. It, it's a the ultimate metal concert, really. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you get to see Poison. Yeah, Def Leppard, Poison, Joan Jett. I know there's another band, but I can't think of it at the moment. But I think what probably happened was after they, okay, the book was fine, but after Netflix came out with that series, I think that was the turning point that they realized, whoa, hold on. There's yeah. a new generation that really likes our music, and we're touching on to them, because before that came out, you really didn't know. No, I was literally, before I knew about the movie, I never knew about the book, but I was starting to gradually find Motley Crue on my own. And then I heard about the movie, and then I watched the trailer, and then I got into it more. And then after watching the movie, which I think a lot of newer fans, after they watched the movie, they became big crew fans, which happened for me. And you even did a critique, movie critique, yes. or a movie, yes. what do you call that? A movie critique. Um, for my film school that I'm going to, part of to get into it, I had to write up a movie critique on a movie of my favorite choice, or my pick, and I picked this movie. I love it so much. And you're getting into it. Yes, I got accepted. And she got accepted. So that's pretty cool. So it, it's, I, I know that it probably upset a lot of people, and I see it all over the internet that, that they came back, but you know what? I think it's a good thing. Uh, I think that they realized that there was this new generation that this music actually was touching and influencing them. So why not? Okay, my big pick that I got from 2019, and I was looking for this for years. And it's this one here. This is a Peter Green, uh, the man of the world in anonology from 1968 to 1983. 
this was very hard to find it actually cost me quite a bit of money I I held off for quite a while saying well I'm not going to buy it I'm not going to buy it not at that price but then the prices kept going higher finally pulled the plug and said I'm getting it so this is my uh, 2019 gym that I got and I probably don't think I'll ever see these this out again maybe they'll repress it I'm not sure okay moving into 2020 what do we see with uh coming out okay we have you have you picked out a few mm -hmm. i picked out a bunch of them uh right now i gotta say and you tell me what you think rumor or what's going on with it acdc mm, yeah that one's i don't know just yeah i don't know because there's been so, so much with like health wise yeah. with the band well, yes, and of course with the passing of Malcolm Young. Yeah. Uh, but there's, there's been so much rumors going right back to 2018. Uh, there was reports that they seen them, uh, members of the band in Vancouver, uh, near the studio. So, But nothing happened in 2018. Nothing happened in 2019. It's a lot of rumors. We don't know. I think, though, it may happen. I really do. I think it may happen because everyone else is bringing out stuff. So why not jump onto that gravy wagon and cash in, I, I guess. And it's, and it's time for them to have something. But with Malcolm Young being gone, I don't know. We, we, will we see Evans come back as a lead singer? Why wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't he if he sees opportunity? So it's a rumor right now. Yeah, like I'd like to say, I want to elaborate a little bit on that. With the amount of rumors with that one, with so many, I'd like to say that they're just keeping it as rumors, doing what the crew did and keeping it as rumors, and then last minute being like, yes, these rumors are true because there's so much of it and they see an opportunity for 2020. Because I feel like 2020 is going to be the band, the year for those bands. Builds the hype, too. Yeah. It builds the hype. Something to look forward to. We need something to look forward to, and that possibility is there. We just hope that it actually develops into something. And, of course, all, all the things that are out there that are on the Internet the, the actually rumor sites so how much are they are and their fan sites you know so uh, and what I got this from was alternate nation so I don't know all right moving on so a lot of you know I'm a huge Green Day fan and so I'm a really excited one on this album this is the first one on their list and so right now they're on tour with two other bands and one of them I'm actually going to talk about because that is one album I'm really excited about the first one I have that they're releasing is coming out February 7th and is called Father of All <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> hey, they, that's what the name of it is. Yeah, and so uh, there's been a lot of talk about it. They've already released one, two, two songs that uh, came out of singles that are different. Yeah, they're not like their typical punk stuff. But what, what is the overall album, uh, really? What are they saying that it's about? I don't know. So I read here, and this is a quote from Billy Joe Armstrong, saying the, this album is about the lifestyle of not giving a f They just... That's a typical punk thing. Yeah, and so what I've noticed with their last one, Revolution Radio, that came out in 2018 or 2016, I cannot remember for some real reason, that was more almost like a pop-punk feel, and it was going away from their normal punk rock feel. And with this album... They wanted to go back with their lyrics, give something that they don't care, the world is too sensitive, and they just want to go back to the way things were. But their sound is very different. It's very upbeat, very higher, faster. Punk, 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 not punk, I mean to say pop, pop punk, kind of. Yeah, but it's like, I don't know, the words are not pop punk, but the sound is. It's very... And, it, it, and, his, and his voice is different because it's not, it's, it's a lot of... Uh, digital stuff going on yeah and it's very high bass like because you're used to singing and playing his stuff yeah as an artist uh you realize what what's going on and it's at a different level and stuff yeah like i could tell he stretched his vocals a lot because you can listen to the live stuff and you see the stretch but then when you listen to the recorded stuff there is definitely a lot of computer generated stuff put into it with their instruments itself it's very different from anything i've heard them do but, but overall, excited. you're excited. Yeah, too. I'm definitely excited to hear the rest of the album. Okay, the Iron Maiden. Oh, I did not know they're coming out with something. No rumor or no rumor. Mm. I could definitely see them doing it. Definitely. You can see it. Yeah. Well, right now it's just a rumor. Okay. There's a rumor that they completed an album. They haven't released anything since 2015, which was the Book of Souls. 
but I think something's going to be coming out with them. However, this there's another group that the, is associated with uh, Iron Maiden, and it's called British Lions. They have a new album coming out, and that's coming out, actually, when is that? January 17th, and it's called The Burning, which features 11 new songs. If you're not familiar with the British Lions, they came out with an, uh, their debut album back in 2012, which is really cool. I don't have that album. I wish that I had it. And it's, it's nothing really, it's kind of like Iron Maiden, but not... I don't know how to explain it. it. It has a metal feel to it, but the vocals are uh, not metal to me. And, and it can relate into the type of music that I listen to. This was Steve's first ever venture outside of Iron Maiden, working with the, these guys. So right now they're on tour. That album's coming out. And uh, I'm looking forward to tracking that album down. And it's coming out, uh, what, next week? Next one on my list, like he has some rumor stuff. I made sure all mine weren't rumors for Yeah, I'm, I'm the rumor guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to make sure I wanted to pick out stuff that I was actually excited for that I knew was coming out. And this one is going to be interesting because he hasn't done anything as a solo artist in almost 10 years. Brazil. Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. yeah, well, he didn't he not come out with something last year? No, maybe he didn't. No, no he was doing... Much. Well, I know he's in the past doing stuff with other people, but he hasn't done an actual full album by himself. What's the album going to be called? It's called Ordinary Man, which is actually coming out this month. This month? Yeah, January 2020. Yeah, because he came out with uh, there's a lot of greatest hits kind of things. I got an album here that was a greatest hits kind of thing. So this is an actual studio album that yeah, he's coming yeah. out with? Yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot of people he's doing stuff with. I got some of the people. So he's doing stuff with Andrew Watts, who's a solo artist. He's going to be playing guitar. And then you have, oh God, I'm going to try and pronounce his last name. Duff McCollin? Or, he's going to be playing the bassist from Guns N' Roses. Okay. Uh, Chad Smith, who's the drummer from uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, and he has another Guns N' Roses person playing second guitar, Slash. Holy. Yeah. They're There's all a together. lot of collaboration going on with yes. a lot of these artists right now, which is really good. It's good. Okay, so this next one I'm excited for, but it's still a lot of up in the air stuff. It is confirmed they've because they've announced the album's name, Bon Jovi's coming out with an album called 2020. But literally all I can figure out from it okay. is a statement that was taken back in September uh, 13th of 2019. And this was, he was recorded saying, this is a statement record, it's not political, but it's very socially conscious. And I, I see a lot of artists just going that route. Yeah, like he was saying he doesn't want to make it political because he doesn't want to get in government, like that type thing but he wants it to be an album to be aware of the stuff that's going around in right 2019 2020 right but that's literally all i could find that they are doing an album and it's called 2020 and what they want it to that's it this one is not going to surprise you whatsoever this guy's been doing this kind of stuff for years okay we're talking neil young neil young great canadian artist okay he's got two things working on he's got homegrown which was supposed to come out in 1975 but instead he came out with uh what was it uh, tonight's tonight uh and and for decades this album people have been waiting for it and he just he announced not too long ago that that was going to be his first album that he comes out with for 2020 so we're going to see that one the second one is going to be another live album he, he likes doing these live albums and neil young sounds really good live albums anyhow the live album he's been focusing on the green greendale live way down the rust bucket concert which was filmed and recorded in 2003 uh, at the rock opera in toronto so that's that's cool something coming out of canada and we've been waiting for this for a long time decades later we're getting homegrown so I'm thinking we're probably going to see, see this hit the shelves and a release date probably within the next month on that. So I was talking about Green Day and then this is another band that is actually touring with Green Day right now that I've gotten a bit into. They're a punk band, Weezer. Um, ah, Weezer. Yes, they're an older band. But this is going to be a very different album and I'm, the reason why I'm so excited about it is because... Me and my type of music is punk and hair metal. And this, they're putting together both. 
So what this album is called, it's called Van Weezer, and it's going to be released on May 15th of 2020. And it's inspired by 70s, 80s hard rock, heavy metal bands, and they're saying in an interview, it's inspired by like bands like Kiss, Black Sabbath, Metallica, and their biggest influence, well, based on the name, Van Halen. So instead of going for their normal pop, yeah, punk yeah. type feel, they're going for more of a hair metal, heavy metal sound. And they did release uh, one song that has became my favorite as a solo called End of the Game. And you could definitely feel the Van Halen feel of it rather than when you go back and listen to the original stuff. I think this is going to be one of the, one of the songs or one of the albums that we were talking about earlier that is going to be remembered down the road, do you think? I think so. Like The new hit kind of thing. Yeah, considering their new song that they is going to be on this album that they released as a solo, it's already became a really big classic for them. Okay. Yeah, it's already became really big, and it's like, the be if you listen to it, the beginning of the song is very memorable because of that guitar riff. It's different from their normal. I don't know what fans are saying about it, but me personally, I love it. Okay, now we're going into the setup. Here's a photo that Adam sent us. Have a look here, Becky. This is a photo here of his setup. No way, that's so cool. And he's only been collecting, what did he say here? He said he's only been collecting for two years and he already has 400 albums. He's wow. currently using a uh, Victoria, I can never say that, uh, Fee Pro 2000 belt driven turntable. Fancy. Uh, APD 40 direct drive turntable, Aki A A A A A A A Really? <laughs> There's a lot of A's in here. Uh, A A R 20 receiver, and then he has cassette deck there put out by them as well, the CS 702D. Anyhow, all the shelves are IKEA shelves. I love IKEA. That's like our shelves, which are really good. I highly recommend that you reinforce them on the bottom if there's a gap there because it will sag over time. And this is really cool because he's got here, he's got Archie Bunker in the background there, uh, framed, and then he obviously is a fan of, what is this there? Uh, the, the Rocky Horror show, Picture Show. Yeah. A lot of those. I heard it's a, a good thing. I don't know and I really I like the lights that yeah. are coming from the ceiling. I really like the lights coming from behind the record, the turntables. Oh, really yeah, cool. you just noticed that? That's yeah. cool. Really nice setup. Very 70s feel. I like it. Yeah, and you've only been doing this for two years, man. Wow, that's faster than me. Great setup. Have a look at this photo. Really cool. Great job. I like it. Thank you for watching, everyone. It's been fun. Hopefully, we can do this every Sunday. 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 Yeah. Every Sunday, Sunday morning. So good Sunday morning to everyone. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Oh yeah. But I will always keep saying, remember, keep spinning.